Hello everyone, my name is Terry Prism, and welcome back to Stories The Path of Destinies. Last episode uh, we just uh, stumbled upon uh, a trap and told uh, Zenobia and Emperor everything we know. Yeah, that didn't go so well. Anyway, now we have option to try to assassinate Emperor who is coming uh, over to us or try to turn Zenobia against him. And uh, I think we are going uh, with Zenobia option here. Turn Zenobia against her father. Reynardo's in irrational decision to find Zenobia after collecting the Skyripper's armature turned out to be a disaster. But maybe he could salvage the situation. He could turn uh, Zenobia against her father. He could uh, show her evidence of the Emperor's madness, but they would uh, need to pay a visit to the scientist on the Nexus. He knew exactly what uh, to say to make her listen. What are you doing? asked Zenobia. Did you ever wonder why the Emperor adopted you? He asked her. She shook her head. He told her. His Majesty wanted to bring the Lost Gods back. They could make him an eater of souls, an immortal. But to seal his bargain with them, he needed a sacrifice. Someone who truly loved him. She was stunned. Furious. That's a evil. Lying. Under a truce Even spell, for Rain it's a trick. Reynardo. You can't prove that. Take me to the observatory, and I will. That's a... That's about the evil and amazing way to use a truth spell against its caster. Oh, I like Reynardo's uh, thinking here. Too bad I'm, uh, I'm not uh, kind of as fast have? thinker as him. She said as they landed on the Nexus. Your father ritually sacrificed a village. And he left witnesses? The scientists resurrected one. Well, it's not really alive, but it can talk. A true witness, she frowned. The dead can't lie. Well, I bet they could. They just don't have any reason <laughs> to. She nodded grimly. You go on ahead. I don't want the ravens to see me. Hmm. I wonder how will this one play out? No skateboarding, the sign said. That would be deadly here. Also, you have skateboards? I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. If I remember right, this was the correct way. Yeah, looks like it. soon be on our first fight. At least this place looks like an arena. Yeah. No surprises there. Oh, a hit there. Ah. Second hit there. Well, that was fun. Oh, there's still one left. And then uh, jumping over there. She caught up with him. Don't oh. you think I'd know if my father wanted to invoke the Lost Gods? Would he tell you? No. Would you? <laughs> no. I I'd burn his books. Why do you adopt a stray cat? You don't ask a thing like that. No, not when there's no good answer, <laughs> she said, her whiskers twitching. Yeah. She needs to see that truth, even if it's a painful one. Uh, 
The scientist at the observatory had a true witness to one of the Emperor's blasphemous rituals. The dead could be made to speak for a short while. Interestingly, they could not be made to lie. After all, mm. what do they have to lose or gain by lying? Good question, Energy actually. Theories. Easy to dodge, but why do they sting if you didn't pay attention? So they're not actually fireballs, like I thought they were. Alright. I could just do that. Easily dealt with, and I got my health back too. Well, most of it anyway. <laughs> Please tell me there are some uh, apples here. Just energy. And ores. And I can't really use them anymore. Because I already got all them. Oh, great. We lost the to old toads once again. <clears throat> or the scientists. The observatory was a burning hulk. Dead scientists and black feathers everywhere. The ravens had burned the reanimated witness to cinders. Renato oh, no. was stunned. There goes my proof. These were scientists, not rebels. Zenobia said, upset. Why would he do this? I don't was that know. actually enough? Let's go to the fleet and ask him. Yes. I'll meet you on the mountains. There's something I have to get first. But could he afford to meet her in the mountains? He'd given the Empire the location of the secret rebel base. They would need rescuing. Hmm, that's a good point. But, uh... I think I'll uh, stick with Zenobia, because, uh... I don't think, uh... If they know Rebel's secret base location, uh, There's not much uh, we can actually do once they dis descend, uh, and I think we are going to be just uh, late enough for this. So let's go meet Zenobia on the mountains. Reynardo has finally turned Zenobia against her adopted father, the Emperor, but the rebel base was still in grave danger due to him spilling all the rebel secrets. Whatever Zenobia was up to, he was too invested to leave her to her own devices. Maybe he should meet her on the mountains. Why was he going to meet up with her? Love, mostly. Wasn't it more important to rescue the rebel council from the almost certain imperial attack? Why was he in this war anyway? Was it really to fight the good fight, or did he just want to see her again? <laughs> One of these days, Renata thought, I should really figure out my motives before I pounce. Nah. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be as fun as uh, this. Was it true? Was he on this adventure just to see Zenobia again? The Imperial Air was not an easy cat to see. Well, she'd ignored all his Kwanzaa gifts. But mm -hmm. on the other paw, trying to get a date by joining a war against your intended was, let's say, pretty optimistic. But on the back paw, thought Renato, yes, it sounded exactly like him. <laughs> Good. I'm so glad we had this little chat, he told himself. Gave me a few supples at least. So I'm glad to. It was definitely easier to fight inanimate objects. Oh! 
I should be much more careful than that. Almost died there to those explosions. Hmm, maybe going uh, down here. I can't remember where this one led, but we are going to find out. Can I reach that? Well... <laughs> I guess that works too. Try to reach that farther away one, but oh well. Ooh, sparkly, thought Renardo. And useless at the moment. Already dead ravens. I wonder what killed them. Wait a minute. No, there is nothing to grab. Nice slow motion at the end there. And up we There are a lot of dead ravens along the side of the road. Someone ah, it must be Zenobia. Here on a killing spree. What had Zenobia gone to get? He had a chilling feeling. Oh no! It was the Iblis Stone. <coughs> Zenobia was level-headed. A stone could make anyone bloodthirsty. You could tell her style from the blade work on the dead bird. That doesn't sound good. I'm uh, expecting uh, ourselves to die here. This was much easier than free climbing. By Zenobia's blade. Yeah, let's open this uh, chest. I'm uh, just curious to see how many these ores I can uh, accumulate before end the game. We should uh, soon be at the top, I think. It's starting to look like this. Look like that, I mean. <coughs> Almost there. Yeah, starting to look uh, familiar here. It's just uh, all right. As for the game, I need to open this one. Well, you can take her or leave her. Sorry, it's best I could do. Renato yeah, you should be sorry about that. What could he do if she had the Iblis Stone? No idea. No idea. Well, we are going to find out if she got it. Yeah, looks like she got it. <clears throat> he reached the summit, expecting no one. But there she was, steaming, pacing. 
I'm going to kill him, she said. I'm going to kill all his ravens, and then him, and then his family, and all the eggs and tadpoles. And then I'm going to burn down their pond. How do Did you burn you down a pond? Go and get the Iblis Stone. Do you see all these ravens I killed? So much power. Yeah. Great. Renato said. Yeah. This is You really good. want power from a demonic rock? You. You want the stone, don't you? Uh, not really. Definitely not. Good. I'd rather not have to kill you. He told her <laughs> he loved her. That he wouldn't let the Iblis Stone take her, even if he had to die for it. Well, he planned to tell her. Now didn't seem like the right time. She'd probably cool off in a bit. So he let her get in her ship and fly off. Ah. He rushed back to the Farfarer and followed her, keeping a healthy distance. Zenobia's ship was just visible through the clouds ahead. How could he reason with her? But he had to. I don't uh, the think you can. Down for the count. No wonder. <clears throat> he betrayed the location of their base and then he'd abandoned them. And if she became Empress while she was in the grip of the Iblis Stone, if she became Empress by murdering her father, she could still be a great Empress. Mm, but she could also be a nightmare Empress. Especially she with the Iblis Stone. Especially with that Iblis Stone. There were more dead ravens along his path. <clears throat> Some of them wounded in the back. He knew she could have easily talked her way past them, or clouded the little tiny raven brains with a spell. She was going out of her way to kill everything in her uh... path. This wasn't Zenobia. Not as he knew her. Looks like we have to deal with her too. The portal was heavily guarded. It must go someplace they really didn't want it to go. Zenobia, what did you do now? That was a huge mistake. Can't say anything else about that. Imagine if you built a house in one of these things. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. It would be like having a boat. Whoa, that was close. Close and easy. So. His beloved was possessed by the spirit of a demon. Oh yes. That's what it meant to be a hero. To brave the darkness in your loved one's soul. To have faith there was still good in her. To help her out of that darkness, no matter what the cost. But what? What could he do? She'd kill him if he tried to take the Iblis Stone from her. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what uh, you can actually do here. Although you have your hook, you could uh, try to take uh, that Iblis Stone with that button. What kind of raven can't fly? Oh, no. That's actually a good question. Although... One possible explanation is that uh, we wounded their beaks. Maybe. <laughs> uh, 
Well, final fight before end resolution. Can we reason with Zenobia? I doubt we can. At the end of the trail of raven corpses was Zenobia. Her father was frantically rigging a strange apparatus wrapped around a glowing core. Don't do it! He shouted. You'll hate yourself <laughs> in the morning! Stay back! She screamed in a horrible voice he'd never heard before. It froze him in his tracks. The Emperor stared at him. Run, he told the Toad, or hop! But he didn't manage to voice it, only <laughs> think it. Zenobia stabbed her blade forward, and his majesty oh, fell dear. dead. She began laughing hysterically. Or was she weeping? Just Little walk bit away. Bold away. She laughed at him. I've no more use for you. There was something he needed to do, but he couldn't figure out what it was. So... He did as he was told. As he walked oh, away, no. he felt a chill in the world. The light in the sky seemed to dim. He didn't dare turn. He had a nagging feeling there was something he should have done just then. Something Struck heroic. down, Zenobia. But he could not have taken the Iblis stone from her by force. And she would not have parted with it willingly. A cold wind blew from where she had been. But he still didn't dare turn. And then... An awful laughter filled the oh, air, and dear. all the torches and all the ships went out, and he realized what he should have done. But by then, it was too late to do anything. He should go back to some of the choices he'd faced before. Maybe there were new paths that had opened up, like those doors he was opening up all over the map that took him to new treasures and around his enemies. And he hadn't learned anything new this time. He'd done the same thing twice, yet expected a different Actually, outcome. Actually, not the same thing twice. I That's one part uh, that's uh, annoying. Especially when uh, unlocking new storyline. I'm not doing the uh, same thing twice. But the uh, end result is basically the same that uh, it's not a good ending. But uh, still, that... Uh, line should only come up when uh, I'm actually making same exact uh, decisions as before. Anyway, the, after that small rant, uh, new story completed. Story number 8. The missing ingredient. What kind of hero are you? A hero who believes there is always good left in a corrupted friend. Yeah. Well, at least we got level up from that. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, thanks uh, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. And I will see you on next one. Goodbye.